Alright, it's 2018, the Yankees lost to the Red Sox, I don't like it. Nope, don't like it. Screw you, Craig Kimbrell. Screw you, Dustin Pedroia, even though you didn't play. Screw everybody on the Red Sox. Alex Cora, you suck. Chris Sale, you skinny ass, you stink. I'm upset. I don't even want to talk about it. I don't even want to think about it. I'm really upset. This is not going to go over well. I'm not going to feel good about this. The Yankees, you better step it up. You better make some trades. I'm telling you, you better make some trades. If you don't make some trades, I'm going to trade myself to the Yankees, and I'm going to bat forth right behind John Carlos Stankton, who can't even swing at a pitch that's over the strike zone, and he's just striking out. I'm just sick of it. I'm going home. Did we really lose 16-1 to the Red Sox? I'm going to puke. Gary Sanchez almost hit a game tying home run. I'm gonna I'm gonna puke. I'm gonna puke over my car. Don't look. Don't look at me. I want you to. I'm not gonna have it. This won't happen again. We're gonna get Manny Machado. We're gonna get Patrick Corbin. We're gonna get all these great players. We're gonna kick kick their faces in. Kick their faces right in. That's right. When I get home, I'm gonna check my laptop and my iPhone. I'm gonna find out what types of players we're gonna trade for. I'm gonna figure out who we're gonna get. We're gonna kick some butt. That's right. Home at my house, we're gonna kick some butt. We're gonna see who's got Yankee pinstripes on today. Who's got the Yankee pinstripes on? Oh, my phone! Oh no, we're broken. You take a look at some of the top free agents. Charlie Morton will be one great season with the Astros this year. Patrick Corman with the Diamondbacks. And then Machado and Harper, and they're always connected with the Yankees. And I just think, and you mentioned that Duhar, he's close. He needs work on his defense. Are you willing to trade off $30 million a year or more for Machado for what you're going to pay Andujar and the production you got in his rookie year? I like Machado, and I like Andujar. What will I do? <laughs> Rest, regroup a little bit, get a little bit stronger, get in the weight room, and then get down to Tampa, Florida, and work on your defensive game. Miguel and Duhar's defense stinks. Gets to go over to the laptop and check my trade rumors. Or maybe there's an actual trade. Uh-oh. This ain't good. We think it happened at uh, Fenway on the... <clears throat> Some ball off off the green monster that he went out and got and threw in. Um, it's, a right it's, it's a right arm, yeah. Yeah. It's all good. We got Danny going. We get Machado. We even get Bader. That's right. Why not get Manny Machado, Brace Herp, get Patrick Kerman, Dallas Keiko, and fifteen other games? If you got Hicks and you have Judge, why would you go after Harper? Yeah. Unless they are thinking of trading Frazier, and you'd be, you'd be, well, I just bit my tongue. You'd I be saw selling that. that God, it was, that was, oh, just, I don't hurt yourself. Seen it before. Oh, my goodness. You're right? Yo, yeah, it's gonna, it's gonna bruise, but it'll be all right. We re signed Rick Gardner and Matt Damon. Contract, no big deal. We still have a chance to get the Bryce Harper. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. What if we don't get Bryce Harper? What if we just free sign back all the old crusty guys? Well, I'll tell you what. Maybe. Maybe the old crusty guys still have something left. Brett Gardner and CC Sabathia will be wait back in pinstripes in 2019. CC Sabathia has spent 10 seasons in pinstripes, going 129 and 80 with a 3.74 ERA. So we re signed CC Sabathia back too. I thought he was a drunk. I thought he was thirsty and retired. It's not. Hey, that guy still has a sweet slide. Piece. The Nationals have signed Patrick Corbin which a lot of people said was the Yankees' number one target. Again, that's what people said. The Yankees never said it. And I think the Yankees have, have come up with a paradigm that they are not going to deviate from. 
that people of a certain age are not going to get more than a five-year contract. So we missed out on Patrick Corbin, who gives a leak. Guy playing the National League anyway. We're the American League, we're the Yankees. James Paxton is a Yankee. And um, I'll say right out front, I think it's a good deal. Uh, the Yankees strike early because they need two top flight starters, so they get one right away. Now they could either dabble in the free agent market or explore going after a Kluber or a Carrasco, somebody like that. But this is one of the top starters available on the market, and the Yankees got one of them. So we got James Paxton from the Seattle Metropolitans. I don't mind that one bit. He reminds me of a young Andy Pettit. He's going to rock this place. Can you play for the Yankees? I don't know. Let's see what else happens. Right, so in acquiring Bridwell and getting him on the 40-man roster, it cost them Ronald Torres. They traded him off to the Cubs to create that uh, spot on the 40-man. A lot of Yankees fans love Torres and what he brought, but if you like watching him, you might feel good about the fact that the Cubs today traded Tommy LaStella, so it looks like he will probably get some fairly consistent playing time. Yeah, and for all those Ronald Torres fans, and I know they're out there, here's the numbers he put up as a Yankee. How dare you get rid of little Torres? I can't even keep a straight face when I say that. Who gives a crap? Jay Happ is returning to the Bronx. The Yankees have re-signed the left-handed starting pitcher to a two-year contract with a third-year option based on his year two workload. Happ had a fantastic 2018 campaign and was named to his first All-Star game last summer. In terms of shortstop, the Yankees signing Troy Tulowitzki. It'll be a major league minimum deal with the Blue Jays picking up the tab for the rest of it this year. What do you think of the move? I think it's a smart, no-risk move for the Yankees because, as you said, Bob, all they have to pay this guy is the major league minimum. So if he comes to spring training and he can perform, the Yankees have someone to fill in at shortstop for D.D. Gregoria. Troy Tulowitzki. Troy Tulowitzki. Tulowitzki. Hasn't he been injured since 1967? Oh dear God, now we're talking. Now we're Call talking. The Chapman. And I think Britain's going to be way better than Yankee fans saw him last year. He was coming back from a debilitating injury and still was very effective at times. I think he's going to be really good. You've got Chapman, Britain, Batantis, Green. They're still in our Ottavino. If they get Ottavino, be, be one of the best bullpens ever assembled. Our bullpen's nasty. Our bullpen's nasty. You can't touch my heater. I got a slippery slider. I'm going to put it in your earlobe. Oh, yeah. Sweet bullpen. Mark, it is a little weird with the Yankees with LeMayhew. I happen to agree with Bruce on that. Uh, you know, he hasn't hit a lot recently. Uh, you know, he hasn't played a lot of positions recently. I hate what he did with the batting championship. That was a disgrace. Uh, you know, sitting out the last six, seven games so he can win the title. He should have known better than that. Uh, that's not going to work in New York either. I don't know. You tell me. What's your take on the Yankees giving him two years, $24 million? Mad dog don't like no DJ LeMay, but I'll tell you one thing for free. I do. He's a sweet hitter. Look at that. More, more news. A three-way trade. Jerry DePoto couldn't help himself. He heard of a trade, had to get in the mix with the Mariners. Yes, the Reds do acquire Sonny Gray, according to reports from the Yankees. This is what the Reds hope to play out. Sonny Gray, I bet your sister, your daughter, and your wife love you, but I just did not like you. And good riddance. Can't talk now about, we're better without talking about Manny Machado. SNY Sports reported the Yankees are continuing to check in with Manny Machado's camp, saying the Bronx Bombers are not front runners and certainly will not make him the highest offer, but they're not out of the Manny sweepstakes either. If the Yanks land Machado, the report says they'll have him play third and move Miguel and Duhar to first. Machado doesn't even run to first. We don't need him. I like and Duhar. But he's so good. I'm a little surprised Ooh, been in on Harper. But believe me, they spin the numbers, and I'm just saying financial numbers on these things. And obviously, they don't think he fits. They don't. They don't think he fits. And also, there's something. There's the elephant in the room that nobody. I'll pay Bryce Harper 56 million goink marks to pay for the Yanks.
what he really wants to talk about because I'm not sure it's his fault. But he's been on an exceptional team pretty much his entire career. Not one playoff series win. Not one. And the Yankees are built to win championships. You know what? I'm feeling good being a Yankees fan. I don't care if we don't have any pitchers. I don't care if we don't have any shortstop. Well, maybe we do or maybe we don't, but I don't care. It's all good and good. Hey, this guy is, could be a weapon for the Yankees. Yeah, great arm, horrible scene, great story to see him uh, get to this point, to at least have an opportunity to continue doing what he loves. Um, no, no. <laughs> I'm going to be rooting for Danny Farquhar. Oh, yeah. What a nice, sweet story that Danny Farquhar is. Now, right, let's keep it going, Yankee people. It's getting close to February, and I haven't heard nothing. Let's see what's on the phone ski. Wait. All right, what do we got here? Ooh, this looks quite interesting. This was a shocker. And I, I don't quite understand it. So toward the end of the press conference, Aaron Boone announces that Jacoby Ellsbury, who had hip surgery last year, will not be reporting to camp with the rest of the position players. Now, pitchers and catchers are today, and then a couple of days later, it's, it's the position players. He will not be here because he's dealing with plantar fasciitis. Uh, okay, why isn't he in camp? If Jacoby Ellsbury isn't available, and Clint Fraser hasn't proved himself yet, then will we get Bryce Harper after all? Well, you know what? He's got a mean stick, and he can hit the right, and it has a short porch, so why not? You know what? He's expanding. Think the Yankees will pursue Dallas Keuchel because I truly believe he'd be a great fit if he did dominate us. Over if it, if it, you know what, Vin? It's a great question, and I think if it was two years ago, I would give you a hands down yes. But just take a look at his production and his stuff. There's been a drop off. There's been a drop off. Now Houston has a lot of money. If Houston doesn't re-sign Keuchel, doesn't that tell you something? Nobody wants that thick bearded Fruit Loop. On my Yankees. Screw you, Dallas Keiko. Hey, what's that? So again, T's need to be crossed. I's needs need to be dotted. Physical has to be taken. But the Yankees lock up another key bullpen piece, Adam Ottavino, for three years. Right, and they bring in a pitcher with a nasty slider. His two-seam fastball is also a pitch that he started to use even more. And they bring in someone, Bob, who I just makes an already strong bullpen even stronger. I mean, you look at the pitchers that the Yankees have at the back end of their bullpen, the ability to generate swings and misses, which is something that Ottavino can do. Average 13 strikeouts per nine innings last year. And that slider is just nasty. It's just this Frisbee-like quality to it. And with the movement on the two-seamer, I mean, he's got pitches going in both directions. Our bullpen's going to be so sick. Brian, where do you stand right now with Greg Bird? Um, I would say, you know, in terms of depth charts, you got to have him behind Luke Boyd going into spring training. I mean, uh, uh, obviously frustrating year for him, therefore for us. Uh, obviously, it's a player's game, and, and this player has had multiple surgeries now on the ankle, and I think the second one obviously took its toll on him. And uh, maybe, you know, the operating surgeon has said, you know, a few times that, A, sometimes the stuff takes a lot longer to settle in. Even though he's clean and coat healthy and he's cleared the return to play mode, it doesn't mean that you're going to get the same player in the first year back. And, and uh, so now the bank on that would be the reason why we didn't see the real bird, although he was healthy. And so, uh, so you know, he, maybe it was a full rehab type season and he never got his, his full balance back. And, um, you know, but at the end of the day, uh, because of all the things he, he's got an option, he'll come in and compete with the uh, Voigt at first base. Between Greg Bird and Luke Voigt, I pick Don Mattingly. That's right. News has it that Bryce Harper signed with the Phillies, so I have not sure which jersey to pick. This one's Philadelphia, that one's New York City. New York City has better hot dogs. And Philly has better cheese sticks, so um, maybe I'll pick the red one because Bryce Harper's sweet with Stanton, Bobby Benilla. I don't remember why I have this jersey on, but here it is. Oh, here's my other jersey. So now that the Yankees have DJ LeMayhew, maybe Aaron Judge will hit 15 more home runs. Let's look at the computer, see if any more trades happen. 
If they don't, I'm not going to be upset. Or maybe I will be. I'm exhausted. What year is it? The Red Sacks are coming for you. 120 wins.